so uh, I was trying to take pictures for a thumbnail and Jenny just decided to sprawl herself out on the table. This is the first time she's ever done this. I don't know why now, but let's go with it. Anyway, so today I'm going to be opening up what is SM2+. Uh, I think it's called Facing a New Trial. We have seen something like this before in the form of this little thing, which I believe was called Strengthening Expansion, being SM1+, but yeah. This thing was released in Japan about a week ago, maybe a week and a half, and I'm actually a little late getting it. Most people have got theirs like two or three days ago, but oh my gosh, look! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great, but yeah, just put it there and explain it. Anyway, I um, I got hit with a customs charge, but I'm not as upset as I was earlier. I was a little bit miffed because um, I thought that what customs meant, I thought that um, they like keep your package at some facility and then send it out, but what actually happens is they keep it at the post office, so I paid my fee online and then I just got to pick it up at my PO box, which was great. So yeah, but there are a lot of really, really cool um, new GXs that haven't been seen ever before in this new set and I believe that in English we're going to see them in the form of uh, GXs in Burning Shadows is the name for SM3 I believe in English. But yeah, here we are. The wrap is off. Eee! So it's time. I actually haven't watched too many openings of uh, this particular box, so I don't really know what the pull rates are like, but let's flap it down. I don't know if it's meant to like look some particular way. There we go. Got it. But there are a total of how many packs? Is it 20? I'm not sure, but a bunch of them. So let's put it down there. Two little stacks. Let's go with this one first, I guess. So. I know um, in SM1 Plus, I, um, I managed to get three GXs. I think the secret rare poles are, they're decent, but I didn't manage to get one in um, my SM1 Plus, so here's hoping I actually do in this one. I'm not actually sure what the card trick is here. Oh my gosh, what is she doing? Oh, she's going nuts. This is great. I'll just angle it like that. This is amazing. Oh, oh my gosh. but. Yeah, I believe that all of the cards in this set have a um, little reverse holofoil thingy going on. So there we are, Water Energy, Cottony, Wilma, they're so cool. And then Whimsicott, so really, really small packs. I think they're just the same as um, regular ones are, um, with just five cards. But same card trick as usual, so yeah. Mm. So Lightning Energy, do you get like one energy per pack? I'm not sure, but um, this one's actually kind of interesting because um, it is what we saw as uh, the Sun and Moon check lane promo, but I think this is the first time Japan are getting it. I'm not sure, but Escape Rope, and then, ooh, that's a cool one. Lycanroc Midnight, really neat. Hmm, that's great. But, huh, no GX yet. I'm really, really hoping for um, a nice little dark cry myself because that's kind of like the main feature of this set, I believe. You can see him peeking out right there, but it's kind of strange that they're featuring um, uh, past generation legendaries in the set so soon. It's weird, but there we are. Slowpoke, Solandit, Sableye, and Lunatone. So nothing just yet, but we're not very far into it. This one's a bit of a weird experience as well because you don't get any traditional hollows, I don't think. It's just all mirror reverses or GXs, so that's that I guess. But. Darkness Energy, that's so cool. Sneasel, Kamala, I don't know what that is. Some weird flute thingy. And Tapu Bulu, I feel like that's been in some deck before, I'm not sure. But yeah, cards are just going everywhere. I'm not even trying, okay? Not even trying. All right, so I am being a little more careful with the scissors this time because you might remember that one of um, my previous thingies I accidentally cut up a hollow, so yeah, but like the good energy alone, and both picks, both throughout. Waylord and Ledian. So, still haven't hit a GX yet. We should be getting one pretty soon if there should be like, what, maybe an average of like three in a box, not even counting secrets, so yeah. But this is the um, the first plus set to have secret rare trainers in it as well. I believe there's a Sophocles and something else. I can't remember. <laughs> but Water Energy, Wishy Washy, Muckrow, uh, Ace Roller. Oh, that's the one. It's Ace Roller. There's uh, an Ace Roller for it. And Hunch Crow. That looks so good. Ah, uh, 
but yeah, we're not actually guaranteed a secret rare by any means. I mean, to be fair, you're not guaranteed any kind of secret rare in um, any of the Japanese sets, but I think the, um, the rates for it are a lot better, if that makes sense. I think you're more likely to um, get a box without any secret rares uh, in this sort of set than any other, but... Sabaglees, eee. <laughs> I'm still holding out though, still hoping. Darkrai GX Full Art is beautiful and I'd really like to pull a rainbow. Like, I have never pulled a rainbow on uh, my channel at all. I pulled a couple of, um, of ones in English, but uh, they haven't been on the channel. Oh, like Devire, that's so cool. But then, Salazzle! Ooh, Salazzle GX, please. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. I forget that's even in the set sometimes, but that's so good. Oh, cool. And my sleeves aren't opening, but that is definitely a very, very good pull. Beauty. Oh, cool. But. Yeah, I think Tapu Finny is also in this set. I kind of forget about that sometimes, but I don't remember what the, the full art looks like. Oh no, you can't be serious. I think there's a helicopter going over my house again. No! <laughs> Lightning energy, Salandit, Wilmer, uh, weakness policy. I didn't realize they reintroduced that. That's cool. And then slow King. There we go. But before I started recording, there was a helicopter going over my house and it was so loud and I feel like it's coming back, so... Why? Why? <laughs> but we're nearly halfway through, but I suppose since I have like a glass roof, if it comes over I'll just show you, but... Uh. Anyway, Water Energy, Slowpoke, Rockruff, Solrock, and Alola Ninetales, that one looks so good! Oh! So, I think quite a few of um, the cards in the set are just some um, reprints of things from uh, Alolan Moonlight and um, uh, Islands Await You. But, they do of course have uh, this sort of exclusive Mirror Hollow Foil, which is really, really nice. And it's kind of weird because, um, we have uh, reverse foils and all that, but they don't look anything like these. It's strange. It's like a completely different kind of shine entirely. It's very nice though. But Weeping Bell, uh, Lone Sancho, weird flute thingy, I don't know what it is, and Sableye. But I don't know if that was exactly half. It probably wasn't, and I'm just making stuff up. I feel like that might have been a bit more than half, actually. I'm not sure. But rapid and stuff everywhere. But we've still got at least another two um, ultras to go, and I'd really, really like a secret. And I know I keep going on about secrets, but you might not know that um, in the Japanese sets, anything that's like a full art or better is a secret rare, which uh, is not the case in English sets. Uh, full arts you can get pretty easily, and then secret rares on top of that, but full arts are secret rares in these sets, okay? <laughs> <sighs> Alright, what's in this one? Whew. So, what exactly would I be hoping for? Dark Cry GX, please. But, Four Energy, Machop, Ladyba, uh, Machoke, and Ace Roller. So, I really do think that we should be getting another right about now, but the, um, the more we get down there in packs, the more I kind of worry. Are we not getting a secret? Ooh, it's kind of iffy, but. Lightning Energy, Electabuzz, Wishy Washy, Lunatone, and Victory Bell. Blech. We don't have very many packs left at all. We've only got six left, so like half of these would have to be good if we're getting a secret. Unless for some reason we get only one more regular GX, which would be quite unlucky. I think. I think that would be unlucky because I know I got three regulars from uh, from SM1 Plus, so that's really weird. But Sneasel, Shubbish, Escape Rope, and Alolan Sandslash, so, mmm. Uh, this is kind of iffy. Uh, I, I don't know if we're going to be getting a secret. <laughs> I don't mean to be a killjoy, but probably not. But anyway, uh, Darkness Energy, Slandit, uh, Alolan Vulpix, Electivire, L. Ew. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounds like terrible because it's really cool, it's a GX and all, but I'd say Machamp is probably my least favorite GX from like the whole set just because I'm not a massive fan of uh, Machamp as a Pokemon. I mean, I'll admit the background on this thing looks insane. It's really, really cool. I like how its fist is red hot and all that sort of stuff, but still, 
Machamp, not ideal. I'm sorry if anyone if anyone really does like Machamp that much. I apologize, but it's um it's just not my thing, okay? <laughs> but uh, anything in this pack, but we're gonna get Water Energy, Whooping Bell, Rockruff, Whimsicott, and Salazzle. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a regular Salazzle in this set. <laughs> I haven't watched too many vids of this, okay? So I can't remember. But we should we do at least one more type of Vulture. I really hope we get a secret, but ooh. Lightning, uh, Murkrow, job <laughs> just flinging the cards around at this point. Weavile and Sophocles. So, ooh, ooh, this isn't looking good. This is looking bad, really bad. So, um, if we're getting a secret, I think, oh, this next pack is gonna have to have something in it, and they're, they're both gonna have to have something in it. And I don't know. I just don't think it's likely, but we'll see. Anyway, fighting! Uh, Bellsprout, Wilma, Solrock, and Tabu Lele. Ooh. I mean, that's really, really cool. That's the first Tabu Lele we've got of the whole box, which is kind of weird. But, mmm. This pack is probably, and I say with like uh, maybe 80% certainty, that this is probably gonna contain a regular GX. I mean, if it didn't, that would be such an awful box, but, mmm, not looking good. Alright, but in this, there is Water Energy, Cottony, Wishy Washy, Wailord, and- <gasps> Oh, cool! Wow, I did get a secret rare, wow, huh. Oh, that's so cool. So, Tapu Fini, the one I was talking about before, Full Art, that looks really good, wow. Huh, maybe I did have the ratios wrong. I didn't realize that. I thought that um, you got three regulars because that's what I got last time. Or maybe the secret rare takes the place of the regular? I don't know. But last pack magic! Oh, that's so great. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. I really wasn't expecting that. I'm sure my voice doesn't sound like amazingly enthusiastic, but that is so cool. Neat. Right, so, um, recap if you will, I suppose, um, my least favorite poll would probably be this, uh, Machamp, just because I don't really like Machamp all that much. But then there's Salazzle, which is just great, and then freaking Tabu Fini Secret Rare! Oh, I'm so happy with this, that looks so good, just look at all the blues on it! Oh, that's awesome! And I guess now I can, like, have a little bit of a comparison, because, um, uh, I actually use my SM1 box as, like, a little place to stash away all my Japanese goodies. But look at them! They're all together now! The only one that doesn't have a full art now is Tabu Bulu, and I don't really like that one too much anyway, but all oh, the good ones, I have full arts of them all! Neat! Oh, that's great! But if uh, you follow the, um, the Japanese TCG all that much at all, then you would probably know that um, Facing a new trial wasn't the only new set or whatever that came out recently. We also got this, which is Best of X and Y. Very, very strange set in comparison to normal stuff, but I am going to be uh, showing you what's inside this pretty soon. And yeah, I guess that's that. Thanks for watching and Jenny!